Welcome to Make Share Daily, where you go to get your daily Lego builds. And this week we're doing nothing but Halloween builds. And what we have today is we have a tutorial on how to build this, a Lego pumpkin. So let's go get into it. How are we going to build a Lego pumpkin? Okay, well, let's take it step by step. So this is a 3D Lego mock. It's not just a 2D or a pixel art of a pumpkin. It's a full-fledged, three-dimensional Lego build that you can build yourself. So just follow along with the steps that we use here, and you'll have your own Lego pumpkin ready for your Halloween. So the best place to start with any sphere or round Lego object is in the center, and then build out from there. And that's what we're going to do with this pumpkin as well. If you look closely, these are the pieces that we're using. So this over here and over here, over here and over here are two by four bricks stacked up three high. Now, if you don't have this many orange pieces, then make do. So as you can see, you can even substitute out a two by four with two two by two bricks and then just sandwich that together in the middle. So those are on the sides. And in the most middle part of the pumpkin, we are looking for a four by six wide brick, three bricks high. Here at Make Share Daily, we divided that up into four columns of two by three bricks. Now you could do multiple configurations where you can combine all kinds of different orange pieces to get you four by six with three bricks tall. So just keep that in mind. If you don't have these exact pieces, then you can substitute out what you have to build out what this design needs. So they're not attached. So we combine these, but they're not attached yet. So what we have to do is build on top and on bottom bricks that are gonna join these columns together. So let's start at the top. So what we're gonna do is these are two by three slant pieces. And I'm gonna put it like that. And we're gonna put a symmetrical version of it on the other side, okay? So those are just slanting down. Now then they don't go all the way to the edge. If they went all the way to the edge, it would look a little too rounded. A pumpkin kind of goes up and then caps over, right? And kind of folds in on itself. So you want it to look as if the vertical part ends and then it starts coming inwards. So next you're going to add two by two bricks on either side. Now you could try to go with a slope piece, but I kind of like this look itself. Then there's these two by one um, sloped polished plates here and I'm gonna put one on that side and one on that side and it kind of gives that rounded look that it kind of gives that rounded look to the top of a house a, you know a roof line kind of look to it but that kind of rounds off the edges that are Lego bricks right I mean Lego bricks are very hard and edgy and pumpkins are very rounded and curvy so on the back side you can replicate the same if you don't have these little bricks, which are very not common, I haven't seen these very often. So if you don't have them, get a one by one and that kind of rolls the corner around. And as you can see, it creates a little bit of a softness or a roundness to the top of the pumpkin as well. So if you don't have these, go with a one by one. And I, I like to mix it up. Even if I have four of these, I like adding a little bit of um, irregularity or unsymmetricalness to the build itself it gives it a little more realism and something to catch your eye so don't do that too much but a little bit like this adds a little bit of a feature to your build now on the bottom it's gonna be very similar to the top in the way that we're gonna build it we're gonna put two two by three bricks on the bottom there and then we're gonna put a two by two we have these we have four of these this is a two by one sloped up piece and I like to stagger it so not this one's gonna go this direction this one's gonna go that direction 
This one's going to point that way, and this one's going to point this way. So when you're looking from the front, again, it's not 100% symmetrical. This one gives a roundedness to this side, and when you're looking at it like this, this one gives a roundedness to that side. So it depends on which angle you're looking at it, gives a different perspective of the roundness of the pony. So now we're going to add the stem. Now you can add a stem like that. You can even add a little something else if you want. You could grow it a little taller. But for me, I like the little short version of the stem on the pumpkin. So there you go. Now you have a pumpkin with a stem in three dimensions ready for your Halloween. Now if you want to build something bigger and better in, in a huge version of this, Go right ahead. You can follow these same steps and techniques and just go bigger and better and see how big you can make the pumpkin. Also, you don't need to be all orange. You could substitute in yellows or the orangey yellow colors. It doesn't matter. As long as it looks like that general shape of a pumpkin and you have a little bit of orange built into it, I think people are gonna recognize it as a pumpkin. So there you go. That's a tutorial on how to build a Lego pumpkin. If you like this video, please hit the like button and give us a comment on whether or not we did well with this build. Also subscribe and you'll see a whole bunch of videos this week on just Halloween itself. Here at Make Share Daily, we try to get you a daily build each and every day. So thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.